man, oh man, oh man, look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. My God, what on God's green natural earth is going on at Capitol Hill? Just what the hell is going on up there? Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. I see. I see. Boy, we got some domestic terrorists. We got thugs. They all at Capitol Hill. And you know, to you Trump supporters, I got to ask y'all, how y'all gonna explain this? How are you guys gonna explain any of this? I mean, I mean, I mean, come on, you can't tear up your own stuff. I mean, come on, it's, it's not that it, it's not that serious. A protest, they're supposed to be peaceful. Okay, this, 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 you're tearing up your own stuff. I seen somebody, you know, protest that had his foot up on Nancy Pelosi's desk, messing up her office, burning stuff. I mean, look, look at the fire. How do you explain this? I mean, you Trump supporters, I know y'all got something for this. I mean, I know that, that, that what you guys see, I know that this isn't patriotic. I know it's not. It's not patriotic. I mean, this is downright, guys, this is destruction. Boy, look at this. If I tell you, boy, this remind me, I ain't going to say what it remind me of. But, man, man, I don't know what y'all going to do about this. I, I, I mean, I, whew, whew, man, you can't mess up the stuff in your own community. And this is, I, I thought this is Capitol Hill. I thought this is everybody's community. Guess not. You know, it's funny. It's really, really funny. And, and you know, to make light, to, to make light of this situation, it's, it's, it's funny that, you know, you have people that will they'll try to justify this, of course. They'll try to justify this. They'll try to say that this is this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is what's well, right. It, this is different. Oh, OK. But then they'll try to condemn, you know, the shooting of an unarmed black man or black woman. Now, they, they'll try to condemn. They'll try to they'll, 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 they'll try to condone that. OK, they'll condone that, but they'll justify this. Crazy. Crazy, boy. This world is evil, y'all. We're in our last days. I, I'm telling y'all. The world is evil. And anybody here that think that this this was right, <laughs> well, I mean, hey, 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 I guess I guess you're entitled to your own opinion. I mean, uh, I mean, I guess this is the patriotic thing to do. I mean, you believe you, 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 you protest in what you believe in. Same thing black folks is doing. Protesting in what we believe in. But you know what? I think we, we're protesting something honorable. <laughs> Somebody being killed unjustifiably. These people, they protesting because they mad because Donald Trump lost the election. Yeah, he lost the election. Oh, voter fraud. Hey, don't believe in conspiracy theories. That's what y'all told us. You know, all the people. And, and, you know, I got to see some of the people that hate Deontay Wilder. This is funny, too. <laughs> hey, coach, you shouldn't believe in conspiracy theories. Well, Trump supporter. Don't believe in conspiracy theories. Yeah. I mean, Trump lost that election fair and square. I mean, they recounted the votes. I mean, they look, man, they, they had an audit of all the man. They audited this thing. And it comes to find out that Trump still lost. This man filed over 30 lawsuits. Every last one of these lawsuits got denied. I mean, how do y'all explain this here? I mean, man, these people getting in the Capitol Hill. Now, we know that Capitol Hill is supposed to be secure like Fort Knox. I mean, it's supposed to have been some people, you know, getting some caps put in them for, uh, for doing this. But, you know. I mean, it was a single lady. She did get shot. But, you know, she was going overboard. And I think even the security at the White House, I think they got a limit, man. But, you know, isn't it funny, man? Donald Trump can, you know, actually encourage this and order this. Wow. Order this. Order this. And you know what? It's payback to the people in the Senate. He was trying to get them back. He was trying to get them back, man. He let everybody, he let these people, like, viably just come into Capitol Hill and storm the place. And then it seemed like the security and everybody seemed like they were just passive. Like the security just seemed like there was nobody there in sight. Like this, this is crazy. You know, I, of course, of course, Donald Trump would do something like that. Of course, of course, he would tell him to stand down. And he sat in the White House very, very quietly, too. <laughs> oh, this is only in America. And, and I got to imagine what people in other countries got to be thinking when they see this. You know, they probably got to be thinking, wow, you know what? It's not so it's not so it's not so hard to invade Capitol Hill. It's not hard at all. It's actually pretty easy to invade Capitol Hill. I think we can, I, you know, and I'm pretty sure with this right here, psh, they done gave some countries some ideas. Like, seriously, man, can't you know, I think out of all the dumb things that Trump did, 
I think this one right here. <laughs> he trying to spike the people in Congress. I mean, yeah, you spiked them and you scared them a little bit. You scared Mike Pence because Mike Pence don't even roll with you. That's supposed to be your boy, your running mate. Mike Pence was like, uh-uh, man, I'm finna sign off on this and I'm finna get the hell up out of Dodge. I ain't finna fool with this fool no more. Like, Mike Pence done had enough. Like, everybody, everybody around this guy, they've had enough. They stopped. They said, man, forget it. This, this is over. It's over. But y'all see, this is who y'all put in office. Y'all put this guy in office, and this is what he's willing to do. This man is willing to do anything to not concede. Not to do it. I mean, <laughs> oh, man, man, oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I guess, I mean, I guess, I, I, I don't know. Boy, hmm, this is a problem, isn't it? Boy, this is a problem. Mm. What y'all going to do about this? How are you going to explain this? I mean, can anybody explain what's going on? I mean, uh, you got people that are going into the White House. And I'm sure that these people that, that stormed the White House, I'm sure that these are good, good people. They they, they, they got the right morals. They, they believe in the right thing. And you know what they're trying to do? They're trying to, you know, make sure that, it's, that the country is fair for all, that everybody got rights. And that, that's what they're up there for. They're not up there for selfish reasons. They're not up there for that. No, they're up there because they want to make sure that we all have our rights. Equal rights, man. They protesting for the good of the whole. I, I know that's what they're doing up there. I know they're setting these fires up there at Capitol Hill. I know because they really believe in what they're doing and it's for everybody. I know that they stormed in Capitol Hill and, 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 and you know, stood up there on the Capitol Hill mic and got up on, you know, behind the, the Capitol Hill's people and talked to the Capitol Hill's people and said Trump really won that election. I know that this is for the good of the people. I know this. I know. I know that that, that, that thug, that, that domestic terrorist put his feet up on Nancy Pelosi's desk. I know that he was trying to, you know, tell us something. I know that this was in the good of the American people. I know this. We can't get around it. <laughs> oh man I can tell you what boy oh man if you work at Capitol Hill you're probably not going to get a good night's sleep for a long time oh how are they going to get Trump up out of there 